Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Good morning. I want to thank both of you for joining us today and talking about love is one of the mm-hmm. hottest things going on. I've got Michael Weaver and Michelle Weaver, I'm sorry, and Will Callis. Okay, I want to talk about love is because it's the buzz of the internet right now. Mm. Go ahead and oh. you start us off, Michelle. Oh, uh, wow. Love is is Oprah's new show. Um, and it is created by Mara Brock Akil and Salim Akil, and they made a show that's inspired by their own journey, finding love and also success in a crazy entertainment world as well. So, <laughs> And Will, your role in Love Is? I play Yasir. Yasir is a director and a writer. Um, Yasir is down on his luck um, at the moment. He's in between two women at the moment, and um, he's trying to figure things out. Michelle, you said this is Oprah's show. What do you mean by that? Well, for her network own, this is her newest show on the network, so. Okay. Boy, you're on a star network. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so you guys are doing Love Is, and it's produced, executive produced by Mara Brock Ali. We know that she did Mary Jane and Mm -hmm. Girlfriends. Does it have that kind of feel, or is it different, or does it stand alone? Well, I think this project for Mara is her Basquiat. You know, she's actually, you know, she's done and put herself in different roles. She's been having a conversation with women for the past, you know, few decades, you know. But this story is her actually taking off the veil and saying, this is my naked truth. Mm -hmm. This is my story. And I'm going to use the things that I've been through in my relationship to heal people. And I think that's where she's at in her craft. Yeah. Okay, Will. So you're playing uh, her love interest. You're, you're uh, playing her husband. Uh huh. Do, do you fit into that role, knowing how relationships are? And I'm I'm really serious because I know actors have to leave the real world behind. But do you say, well, you know, I don't know about that. No, I think for me, I go as deep as I need to go for the role. You know, I don't worry about my personal life. I can pull for my personal life, but. Luckily, I have Salim to look at, Salim McKeel, to, to be an example and try to get 80% of his character, 80% of his DNA, and then that way I can just dive myself into the role and trust what's there. Mm-hmm. Michelle, you are um, imitating or playing Mara Brock Akil. Yes. H- how do you go that deep? How do you give it? Because she's very well known. She is very well known. Um, I personally did not research her in the audition process because I didn't want to go into the room trying to imitate a person. I think that's like impossible to a certain degree. Um, so she gave me a lot. She's the writer and the creator as well. So she gave me a map on, on the page and I took it and I related to Nuri. And I am also, it's so crazy, you know, the more I get to know uh, Mara, I'm very, very similar to her. We have very similar essences. So. I just trusted that she was going to cast someone. If she's in the casting process, she's going to cast someone that she trusts already carries what she needs to fulfill the role. So, of course, I did research her after I got the role in the 90s and all that good stuff. Um, But thank God she was the director of the first episode as well. So when we showed up on um, shooting the pilot, I brought what I could bring, and she took me deeper. She took me where I needed to go, and she was very collaborative, very encouraging. And so I was blessed. I was spoiled. <laughs> Will, what's going to be in there for my uh, viewing audience? Because the audience of OWN, uh, mm-hmm. whether it is stated or not, is predominantly African American. So what's in it for the women there, the single women, the professional? women what's going to be in it for them well what i think is what's in it for them is that it's being is giving women a chance to say hey listen let me take a step back and look for the character in a man not look for how much money he has or how much money he doesn't have how is this man's character from there you can decide whether you should be with a person 
or not. And you see you see that. He's clearly down on his luck, but his character is where it needs to be. And this is what Nuri takes a liking to. So the hope is for women to now choose wisely and men as well is to choose a Nuri. Okay, we'll let Michelle speak on the men. The men that are coming to watch the show <laughs> love his Speak on it, girl. Do you think they are going to see? Because it's a big, that's a big order to fill, even though I know it's a true story. Yeah, I, I hope that men are encouraged to actually go after the women that they, you know, feel like they should go after. and But to know that, you know, be confident in who you are and, and, and be truthful. You know, I, I, that's the thing about Yasir is that he is, he's an honest man trying to have an honest life, just, but being just thrown curveballs. And I, I would want men to be encouraged. It's okay. We know life is hard. We get it. But you still can create the result of the cards you're playing. And so to encourage them to really go after what they, you know, dream to go after to and to put the work into it you know for men and women um this is what mara and and salim are saying look you can have love but you have to work for it you have to fight for it it's a choice every single day and that's one thing that's great is that the choice of love is also how life is you choose to live every day you choose to be honest every day you choose to not give up every day it's the same thing with love so if you can um conquer that in your love life, you'll be able to conquer that also in your professional life, mm -hmm. in every area of your life. I'm going to wrap up with this, and I'll start with you, Michelle. You're so young. What do you know about love is? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay, girl, I literally booked this show, and I was like, God, I don't know. I don't know about love, so you're going to have to teach me. But that's the thing is I am being directed by people who have experienced you know, enough. They're the creators. So I get to be the vessel. And, and I listen, I learned a lot, too. So I'm refreshed and I have hope about love, too. So it's good. OK, well, Kevin, on a personal level, what do you know about love? Because I saw you. You're pretty handsome. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, I accept it. You know, I don't think, you know, there's a requirement or a prerequisite to know love. It's something that you're born with and it's something that's just in you. You know how it's distributed is depending on have your love been bruised or have you had, you know, some bad experiences, you know, but at the end of the day, love is pure. And if you can tap into that, then you'll, have, you'll capture love. You guys are two rising stars. You're on one of the most popular networks mm -hmm. in the, the, just the, uh, the whole uh, universe, mm -hmm. doing one of the most popular shows with mostly two popular people that you are uh, showing us on the screen. Mm -hmm. I wish you guys the best of love. When do you guys want us to watch Love Is on OWN? Oh, yes. You can watch Love Is Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. We're there. I want my audience. I want you guys to join me so you guys can have a conversation about it. I think these young people are here to teach us all something. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for being on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure, Michelle and Will. Thank you so very much. And good luck. Come back in season five when you're like really famous too. Oh yeah. Well, you know I'm already famous. I've been famous <laughs> I before I did are. the show. <laughs> yeah. I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. All right. Thank, thank you. you.